In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about atorvastatin, especially what it does to the body and about specific side effects. This is especially important if you're about to start atorvastatin or you're already established on it. I'm also going to answer three frequently asked questions in my clinics. Does atorvastatin cause muscle aches? Can it give you diabetes? And can you develop dementia? These are really important questions that you should be fully informed about when making a decision about taking any medication. This video will help you to understand more about atorvastatin and allow you to make a logical decision about taking it. So let's get started. So what is atorvastatin? Atorvastatin belongs to a group of medicines called statins. It is used to lower cholesterol if you've been diagnosed with very high blood cholesterol to prevent heart disease, including heart attacks and strokes. You may also be prescribed atorvastatin if you have a family history of heart disease or a long-term health condition such as type 1 or type 2 diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis. The generic name or chemical name is atorvastatin, but it is commonly known by its brand name, which is Lipitor. So what is cholesterol? We all need cholesterol because the body uses it to build the structure of our cell walls. Cholesterol helps make hormones like estrogen, testosterone and adrenal hormones. It helps your metabolism work efficiently. For example, cholesterol is essential for your body to produce vitamin D. And cholesterol makes digestive bile acids in the intestine. So from these examples, you can see that there are many reasons why our body needs cholesterol but very high levels of cholesterol can increase your risk of heart disease. With very high cholesterol, you can develop fatty deposits in your blood vessels, especially if you have existing risk factors which cause inflammation in your blood vessels. For example, smoking, eating a diet with lots of processed foods, and being inactive and overweight, or if you have a family history of heart disease. Eventually, these deposits grow, making it difficult for enough blood to flow through your arteries. So how does atorvastatin work? Atorvastatin reduces the amount of blood cholesterol made in your body by blocking the action of an enzyme called HMG-CoA reductase, which is in your liver. So if atorvastatin is used together with dietary changes, this has been shown to lower cholesterol blood levels of low-density lipoprotein, LDL, sometimes known as bad cholesterol, so has the potential to lower your risk of heart and blood vessel disease if it is taken regularly for a long period of time. Your blood cholesterol levels should drop within four weeks if you take it daily. This should be monitored by your healthcare provider during the first 12 months by some blood tests to make sure your liver is working properly and to see if your blood cholesterol is lowering. Although the medicine may be working, you may not feel any different as most people with very high cholesterol do not have any symptoms. So how and when do you take it? This medicine is available on prescription only. It comes as tablets, including chewable tablets for people who have difficulty swallowing. Always take atorvastatin as instructed by your healthcare provider and follow the instructions that come with your medicine. Atovastatin comes as 10, 20, 30, 40, 60 and 80 milligram tablets and 10 milligrams and 20 milligrams as chewable tablets. The usual dose for adults is between 10 milligrams and 80 milligrams a day. Your dose depends on the reason why you're taking it, your cholesterol levels and what other medicines you're taking. Take atovastatin once a day you can choose to take it at any time as long as you stick to the same time every day. This prevents your blood levels from becoming too high or too low. Sometimes it may be recommended to take it in the evening. This is because your body makes the most cholesterol at night. You can take atovastatin with or without food, but taking it after food may help if it makes you feel sick. Swallow atovastatin tablets whole with a drink of water. If you've been given chewable tablets, you can chew them or swallow them whole with a drink of water. Be aware that drinking a lot of grapefruit juice can increase the level of atovastatin in your blood and cause side effects, and so can drinking a lot of alcohol regularly, 
This increases the chance of you having side effects with atorvastatin and liver problems. Does it interact with any other medications? Some medicines can affect the way atorvastatin works and can increase the chances of you having serious side effects such as muscle damage. Tell your healthcare provider if you are taking any of the following medicines. Antibiotics such as erythromycin, clarithromycin, rifampicin or fusidic acid. Antifungals such as ketoconazole, voriconazole or fluconazole. Some HIV medicines. Some hepatitis C medicines. Warfarin, a medicine to help you prevent blood clots. Cyclosporin, a medicine for psoriasis or rheumatoid arthritis. Colchicin, a medicine for gout. Contraceptive pills, such as the combined pill. Verapamil, diltiazem, or amlodipine, medicines for high blood pressure and heart problems. Amiodrone, a medicine that helps if you have an irregular heartbeat, such as atrial fibrillation. If you're taking atovastatin and need to take one of these medicines, your doctor may prescribe a lower dose of atovastatin, prescribe a different statin medicine, or recommend that you stop taking atovastatin for a while. These are not all the medicines that can affect the way atovastatin works. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicine packet or check with your pharmacist. Is there anyone who should not take it? Most adults and children aged 10 years and over can take atovastatin, but it is not suitable for some people. For example, if you have ever had an allergic reaction to atovastatin or any other medicine, if you have liver or kidney problems, think you might be pregnant, are already pregnant, or you're breastfeeding, have lung disease, have previously had a stroke caused by bleeding into the brain, regularly drink large amounts of alcohol, have an underactive thyroid, have had muscular side effects when taking a statin in the past, have ever had a muscular disorder including fibromyalgia. Lipitor chewable tablets contain something called aspartame. Check with your doctor before taking these if you have phenylketonuria, a rare inherited disorder of protein metabolism. So what are the common side effects? Like all medicines, atovastatin can cause side effects in some people and different statins affect people in different ways. Some side effects may improve after the first few days as your body gets used to the medicine, but if they do not improve, contact your healthcare provider. So if you have nausea or feeling sick or indigestion, I would recommend to sticking to simple foods, avoid rich or spicy food. Headaches. I would drink plenty of water and ask your pharmacist to recommend a suitable painkiller. And if the headaches continue, seek medical advice. Constipation or flatulence. I try to eat a well-balanced diet and drink plenty of water each day. Diarrhea. Drink plenty of water to replace any lost fluids. Also, cold-like symptoms such as a runny nose, blocked nose or sneezing, nosebleeds and sore throat. So what are the more serious side effects? Stop taking atovastatin and contact your healthcare provider or emergency services if you get unexplained muscle pain, tenderness, weakness or cramps. These can be signs of muscle breakdown and kidney damage. If the whites of your eyes turn yellow or your skin turns yellow, although this may be less obvious on brown or black skin, or if you have pale poo or dark pee, these can be signs of liver problems. Or if you get a skin rash with pink or red blotches, especially on the palms of your hands or soles of your feet, this could be a sign of erythema multiform. If you have severe stomach pain, this can be a sign of acute pancreatitis. If you have a cough, feel shortness of breath and are losing weight, this can be a sign of lung disease. Or a serious allergic reaction called anaphylaxis, so swelling around your mouth and neck and face with an associated rash. These are not all the side effects of atovastatin. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicine packet. The first most common question I get asked is, are my muscle aches being caused by atovastatin? The quickest way to answer this question is to stop the medication and to see what happens. 
If it is caused by atovastatin, you'll know almost immediately because the muscle aches will go away and when you restart the medication, they'll restart back up again. The second most common question is, will taking atovastatin increase my risk of diabetes? You are likely to be at a greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes if you have high levels of sugars and fats in your blood, are overweight and have a high blood pressure. There is some evidence that atovastatin can raise blood sugar in some people. If you are concerned, speak to your healthcare provider. They will be able to explain the risks and benefits of taking statins individual to you and your current health status. If you already have type 2 diabetes, your doctor may advise monitoring your blood sugar levels more closely for the first few months. And lastly, I am asked if statins can cause memory loss or dementia. Now in 2012, the FDA issued a specific warning about statins and the potential for causing short-term memory loss, confusion or forgetfulness as people were more and more reporting this as a side effect. Now do remember that dementia is slightly different. It's a long-term problem that happens over many years and is not reversible. Short-term memory loss happens over days or weeks and is reversible and not permanent. So these side effects were being found in patients taking statins and statins that were lipophilic, such as atorvastatin, which means they dissolve in oil much better so have a higher concentration in the brain. Once the statin was stopped, it was found that these side effects were reversed. So remember, there are different statins that are hydrophilic, which means they dissolve in water easily, such as rosuvastatin, that could be used as an alternative statin. But again, you will have to discuss this with your healthcare provider. I will provide the link to these studies below. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted every week and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about new videos and please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn more about. You can also check out my other video on red yeast rice and how to lower cholesterol naturally.